guys, today I am looking very naked. <laughs> I am here on vacation in France with my family, my mom, my dad, my sister, and also with Tim, my boyfriend, and I decided to do like a vacation reading vlog. I really wanted to vlog because first of all I am participating in the basically readathon if I'm saying that title correctly which is a 24-hour readathon which is hosted by Brit from basically Brit and she's my friend so of course I'm gonna support her and participate in the readathon plus it's a really good excuse for me to just read all day here in France we have a really lovely place here in like a really small town a really small village called La Garenne it's like the I would say more like the southern part here of France I used to go to France every single year and it's like oh my second home. I feel so at ease and relaxed when I'm here. I'm really excited to just basically do nothing and just relax. I'm currently reading Blood for Blood by Ryan Grouding. This is the sequel to Wolf by Wolf. I have to say I'm not enjoying Blood for Blood as much as the first book in this duology. It's just for me personally very slow paced. I've read some other people's reviews and they said that it was really fast paced and I'm like are you kidding me? For me this feels just way too slow and I really want to get to the point. I've read like just over half of the book and I feel like this could have been put into like a hundred pages but I'm still like enjoying it and I really like the characters. There are some things in the plot that really do add some like excitement. It has a lot of suspense in it so that's not the thing but it's just taking me a long time. So yeah I have Blood for Blood but I also brought two other books with me. This is the book that I want to read for the basically readathon and that is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas because you have to pick a book that has been on your TBR for a really long time. I've been meaning to read it for two years basically. It has just received so much like hype and everyone loves it. It's so impactful and it's such like a good important story about African-American people in America and like the police and shootings and stuff like that like a problem that's still really going on in uh, today's society. So this one is just over 400 pages. I'm gonna try to get to like half of the book on the readathon day. I'm not a fast reader and if I read 200 pages that's already a lot of pages for me. But yeah we shall see and then the other book that I brought with me I'm actually really excited to reread this one that is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas I think I finished this one three years ago I pre-ordered A Court of Wings and Ruin the third and final book in this trilogy two years ago I pre-ordered it and I still haven't read it it's insane I did start my reread two years ago as well but I just didn't continue on with it but I feel like now is a really good time because this one is over 600 pages and A Court of Wings and Ruin is like 700 so I feel like I should do it now. I just really want to finish a series by Sarah DMS because I have started two of her biggest series. I haven't finished them. But yeah I will show you guys around the place. I will show you guys our swimming pool and I will try to keep you up to date a bit with my reading this summer vacation. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
guys, so today is July 7th. Today, Tim and I went to the Boulanger, aka the bakery. Oh my god, the lighting is so strange here. I'm sitting at the house near the pool. The pool is right over there. Yesterday was July 6th, and it was the Basically Readathon, the readathon that was hosted by Basically Brit. I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update on that because I started The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas for that readathon. I really wanted to reach like page. 200 because I am a really slow reader and also the weather is super super nice here So I'm not just gonna read all day I'm also gonna swim and sunbathe and stuff like that So I wanted to reach page 200 yesterday to be like almost halfway through the book and I didn't reach that goal But I did read up until page 182 so that's like a pretty decent amount of pages and it's been a really long time since I've read that many pages in a day. I'm really enjoying the book with the only downside, but that's like a personal thing for me is that the chapters are really, really long, like 20 to 30, maybe even more pages for one chapter. And that's just for me personally, a little too long. If a chapter is like 15 pages max and it like varies between zero to 15, that's the best for me because then I'm more likely to be like, oh, I'm just gonna read one more chapter and then I'm gonna stop. But yeah, I'm 182 pages into The Hate You Give really enjoying it. It's a really impactful story about like the Black Lives Matter movement. Star, our main character, is involved in a police shooting her like old best friend. Well, he did absolutely nothing, which is the most frustrating part. And it's really important because it is so accurate to what is still happening these days. And I should have read this book two years ago already, but I'm reading it right now. Um, I'm also currently reading still Blood for Blood by Ryan Grouting. I am at page 357 out of the 480, so I still need to read this little part. Right now, I'm gonna read by the pool. Have a look, guys. Oh my god. Um, this is what I have to deal with, what I have to look at every single day, like... <gasps> so bad. I hate it. No, but in all seriousness, this is... Such a nice relaxing vacation. I'm really doing nothing. I did edit a video this afternoon, so it's my June wrap up. I'm planning on reading one more chapter of The Hate You Give right now and then read a bit more in Blood for Blood because I mean, it would be amazing if I could finish these two books in the next coming three and a half days. That would be really amazing. Until so far, Blood for Blood is a really, it's much more slow paced than Wolf by Wolf. Tim is currently reading that book and I really want him to be in the reading vlog. So, uh, because he has read like so many pages and he doesn't read at all. So I just want him to like be proud of himself for what he's been doing. It is taking me a lot longer to like get through but right now the excitement is really coming i want to know how it ends this reading year until so far has been really good i've only had like maybe two or three books which i wasn't like super impressed with but the rest of them i've loved so incredibly much Ik wilde net een stukje vloggen. Hi guys, today is July 9th. This is our, tomorrow is our last day, like our full day here in France. Yesterday I finished Blood for Blood, the sequel to Wolf by Wolf, and I think I gave it three and a half out of five stars. It was good. There was still lots of suspense and the characters were again just oh, so so good and I really like the way that Ryan Grouting tells the story but it was in my opinion a bit too long. It was almost 500 pages and sometimes I definitely lost the amount of concentration that I had. It was less exciting for me than the first book. Still a really good duology and I finished a kind of like series again. I read 80 pages yesterday. I'm still kind of doing the like 50 pages a day challenge 
challenge or at least I'm keeping up with how many pages I'm reading. Today I'm definitely going to be so much like over what I should be reading at day nine. Today I'm going to read more in The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas and I hope that I can reach page 300 but we shall see if I can do that. Yes, I'll be reading this by the pool today. Hi guys, so today is July 11th and um, Tim and I are about to leave in like an hour, an hour and a half to the airport. Donc je peux parler un petit peu de français. L'airport s'appelle Perchac. <laughs> We're just about to leave. It was such an amazing, such a relaxing vacation. But I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update about like what I read on this trip. So I finished Blood for Blood as I think I vlogged, I don't know. I gave that one a three and a half out of five stars, but more towards the three star rating on Goodreads because I did like it, it just wasn't as good as the first one. I still loved the characters and I still feel like an attachment to them, so that's why I was still super invested in the story, but the plot itself was a little bit slow for me. I've heard so many other people say that it totally wasn't and it has a higher rating on Goodreads than the first book, so I feel like I'm a little bit alone in that opinion, but I just like just finished The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I've had this book on my TBR for over two years. I mean, it has gotten so many like extremely good reviews and like awards. It was just time for me to read it. I picked it up during the Basically Read-a-thon and I just finished it today. I've been reading like a lot of pages in the past couple of days. It was just a really good, impactful story. I wasn't like obsessed, obsessed with it. So I'm not gonna give it a five, but I'm definitely gonna give it a four because I love Star. She's such a realistic, brave main character and I really enjoyed all the side characters. Sometimes the story with all these different characters was a little bit confusing, especially in the beginning. Like I didn't see who had like some kind of relationship with who. And seeing how this really like big event takes a toll on Star's life and the effect of it. And it's really good to see this whole like different culture to what I'm used to, which is a basic white bitch. No, but I did order On the Come Up by Angie Thomas and I was like, should I buy it or not? Like, I don't know. This is some type of contemporary that you really have to be in the mood for because it's a very impactful contemporary with an important story that you really have to listen to. And sometimes you rather just have like a quick little contemporary, but I have enough of those. So I decided to pick up her other book On the Come Up. I don't think I will pick up that like very, very soon but I will definitely pick it up in the future because I know that I really like Angie Thomas's writing style. I think in total on this vacation, I read almost 800 pages, which is definitely not bad at all because I was here for 10 days. I'm still doing so, so, so well with trying to keep up to date with my 50 pages a day challenge and it's definitely going really, really well. So because I'll be on a plane for like an hour and a half or something, I will try and read some in a new book. It is so big, so that's, I'm not excited about taking it with me. And that is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. I think I will read this like very casually throughout the month of July because it's such a big book and I have already read it. I do have a really pretty like bookmark for it because this came in a fairy loot box. So yeah, I'm just gonna go home now and read and try to edit this video as soon as possible. If I'm not gonna film an ending back at home for this video, I will just do it right now. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere on the screen or on the button down below. You guys can also follow all of my different social media pages to stay up to date with what I'm reading through Goodreads, um, but you can also keep up with what I'm doing with my life through um, Instagram, Snapchat, plus I also have an email address. Links to those are all in the description bar down below. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!